Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and here we are at a table full of my Think Tank bags. Now you guys know how much I love Think Tank. I have been using Think Tank bags since I started my professional photography career. Today we have a variety of roller bags, and these are bags that I use all the time. We've got the Navigator over here, the Airport Navigator roller bag, really versatile. I love that it's front loading. I love that it's top loading. I love that it's got this humongous telescoping uh, uh, handle for rolling the thing. And um, it, it's been really terrific. I take this with me in the subway. I take it with me when I travel. Then we've got the airport security. This is the, the, the one bag that seems to be the perfect size, the perfect fit. Ooh, I really love this bag. This bag's been all over the world with me. It's been fantastic. Holds tons of camera gear and all kinds of little bits and bobs. Laptop can go right in there. As you guys know, I've talked about that. It even has a set of shoulder straps in the back. Hey, come on. I can't even imagine shoulder strap carrying this bag, but well, maybe if we had to walk through a stream and I want to roll it, I would use those straps. Then you guys remember I introduced the Production Manager 40. And this is my light kit bag. Inside here I've got strobes, I've got some modifiers, I've got all kinds of different deals like that. I attach my stands to the side over here like that. This bag has been really, really good to me. And this has been a perfect ensemble for when I travel, for when I do editorial shoots, all different kinds of stuff. But wait, I think you might have noticed that there is a very large box standing over here to my right, to your left. Well, the good people at Think Tank have sent me their latest addition to the big roller family, the Production Manager 50. <laughs> Mind blown. This is probably the biggest camera bag I've ever seen, and it's even bigger than the 40. And I'm gonna do a full unboxing, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna use it. I'm actually going to migrate my lighting kit from this bag to this bag. And the reason for that is, is that as much as I love this bag, I want to try how this bag works because at the, for the time being, I can't get my light stands in this bag because the bag's just a little too short for that. Not complaining, just saying. So I want to see how the light stands are going to fit in this bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, a, uh, I'm going to clear the table here. I'm going to pause the camera and come right back. And then we'll start getting into looking at the Production Manager 50. But let me just show you, before I do that, I'm just going to put the 50 up on the table next to the 40 in its box, if I don't kill myself. Whoa. All right, so you guys can see there's, there's a little bit of a difference in height and size right here. So without further ado, let me pause the camera and we'll come right back. All right, guys, so I've unboxed this big boy, and, you know, this was the king of camera bags. This has got to be the, the emperor of camera bags. I mean, this thing is so ridiculously huge, I can't even, I can't even get over it. Um, I mean, just looking at it dimensionally, it's deeper than the Production Manager 40, okay? We've got a deeper bag. It's obviously wider. Well, I should say it's wider, and then I should say it's obviously taller. It is way taller. I mean, look at the size of the wheels on this puppy, okay? These are like, like ATV wheels on this thing. Um, kind of crazy how big that is. And uh, it's, it's so freaking tall, like it's out of the camera frame. So let me just do one thing. I'm going to put these guys on the ground. Ugh. Still got all my lighting gear in there. All right, so I'm going to put that on the ground. All right, so that comes up to about waist level. Put this guy on the ground. This guy comes up to chest level. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Okay. So this, in fact, is, is the new king, or perhaps the emperor. I like the sound of king better. Emperor just sounds a little funny. But yeah, this is definitely the new, the new clear winner in uh, size category of bags. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this bag, and I'm going to put it up on the table, and let's break it down. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys? All right, so... Put this thing up there, boom. Now, like I said about the 40, just on its own, this bag is not that heavy. Um, it, it, it's, it's actually fairly manageable for something this size. Wow, this thing is just freaking gigantic. All right, um, I, just, I just love the materials that Think Tank uses. I love the quality of their zippers and their pulls. And let's just open this thing up and let's just get into the inner sanctum of this bag. So I'm really curious to see what the inside or the guts looks like. Boom. Wow. 
Wow! You know, it's really cool too. They've already kind of given you somewhat of a partitioned view or a partitioned look of the interior of this bag. Can you guys see that? See what I'm saying? They've already kind of broken it down, which, you know, look, it's for reference, okay? But you get a sense that you've got at least three channels over here. And what I could see doing with these three channels, and let me just kind of tip this over to you guys, is maybe what I'll do is I'll put stands in one channel and then lighting modifiers and other bits in some of these pockets. And I'm gonna probably redo the pockets a little bit because I have a lot of gear that I wanna put in there. Um, like always, they give you this nice placard that gives you a couple of different ideas or just a handful of ideas on what you could possibly do if you were outfitting the bag. Um, this one just shows grip. So what that is, is these, these are actual full-size C-stands and their legs and a bunch of different stuff. So this could just be a grip bag, which would be fantastic. Or conversely, you can get all of your lighting gear in here. And this is like heavy duty pro photo stuff. That's a real heavy duty pro photo pack. There's modifiers, there's all different kinds of goodies in here. So what I think that's gonna end up happening for me is that I'm gonna see if I can fit my editorial kit in here but I really could see making one of these bags a grip bag and another bag a lighting bag and then keep them separate because that's a really nice way to go. So I'm gonna pause the camera right now. I'm gonna migrate some gear from my other bag into this bag and let's just see how it all sets. All right, guys, we are back. I have taken the time to unload the Production Manager 40 and migrate into the Production Manager 50. And I can say that that was quite a process. It's so easy. I love the way that Think Tank gives you so many different options with all of these Velcro adapters or dividers. Velcro dividers, yes, absolutely. And you can do any kind of configuration. And the thing is, is that you're not obligated to any kind of configuration you set up. So what that means is that right now I've got it set up for this particular kit. If I want to change this around, all I got to do is just move these puppies in any configuration that works for me. These are the extra dividers that I didn't end up using. Now, it's a little bit excessive that Think Tank does this, but that's the kind of company that they are, that they think of everything. They want you to have options. They want you to be taken care of. They don't want you to have to be on the phone with them and saying, oh, I didn't get enough dividers. I, I can't really set it up the way I want it. So here you go. This I'm gonna just put aside because I don't really need these here right now. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna share with you guys my setup here. Okay, so what I've done is I've put everything in here that's my portable lighting kit or strobe kit, and I have also been able to put three full-size light stands in here. Three full-size light stands, three modifiers, three lights, two battery packs, and a whole bunch of accessories neatly fit in here. And let me just open it up and I'll show you guys. Man, this thing just feels so good. It's so smooth, so solid. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do my best to tilt this up for you guys so you can see. So you see what I did here? I used the back channel for my lighting and that kind of stuff, and I used the front channel for most of my grip and modifiers, and then I have some pockets up on the top there where I can put some other stuff. Um, I can put all kinds of little accessories and things up here that I wanna access very quickly. And um, I'll just take these modifiers out and I'll show you what it looks like with the stands, the full size stands that are in there. So you guys can see, and I'll just uh, try to not break myself doing this. Here we go. There it is. So you, can, you guys can see that those are full size stands in there with room to spare. Holy cow. That is just amazing. Um, oh yeah, and of course it's got these nice little straps here so the thing doesn't go flapping in the wind. Um, it's also got this great humongous pocket up front, up on the top here. I've got the Tether Tools laptop pad in there, or laptop stand. We got some, uh, some uh, little modifier guys here, little grids, you know, a little extension bit. I mean, there's just, there's tons of room. I can put all kinds of goodies in there. So there it is, guys. Um, the production manager 50. I'm just kind of looking at a few other things here. All right, of course, you know, you've got your your cable lock It's uh, tucked nicely into a top pocket over there. You've got your ID pocket, which is terrific um, You know little pockets here all these little pockets help. I mean, 
It allows you to put little things. It's got the nice little um, side pockets here where you can put stuff. You could probably put, you know, a tripod in there or something and then just strap it around. It came with those little extra straps. Um, it's got a nice handle on the bottom here because this is probably going to be a two-man job moving this thing around the way it is right now. Um, again, I was telling you about these fantastic, humongous wheels with like nice metal reinforcement on there. Um, I can't say enough good things about this bag. Um, I'm, I'm just so impressed, you know. I mean, I was blown away when Think Tank came out with the production manager 40, and now the 50 is like, poof, mind blown. And I just love that not only can I get all of my lighting kit in here, I can also get my stands so that I don't have to have that awkward situation where I've got my lighting kit rolling and then my stands, or I've got to go back for my stands. Now it's in one tidy package. And like I was saying before, I could see dividing the two bags up so that one bag, I'll bring the 40 back, so that maybe one bag, this guy, maybe this guy is going to be the bag that has the, the lighting stuff, and this bag would just be grip. I mean, how nice would that be? Lights, grip, action, boom, done. So there it is, guys. Take a chance, I mean, take a minute, go over to Think Tank, Ugh. take a moment, go over to thinktank.com. Um, if you use the code AP570, that will get you a free gift on checkout. How cool is that? Um, if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll see you soon.